What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Core Progression Monday. And in this week's lesson, we are gonna check out a simple drop D idea, talk about those chords, but also I wanna talk about a very simple songwriting idea, right? And that's playing the same part, slightly different, to create different song sections, right? So let's check out that example and we'll come back and break it down. So as I mentioned, I am in a drop D tuning. Down below, you can find a link for the tabs if you want them. So the chords being used here are gonna be an A sus chord, right? Open A, second fret, second fret, open B, and then E again, okay? There's no third in this chord, B being A, B, it's our second, right? So it's gonna be a sus two kind of sound. It gives it a very nice, open-ended sound, all right? Third chord is gonna move to this chord. Third fret, third fret on the low strings, a little power chord, drop D. But we're gonna put in, basically, five, five on the D and the G strings, and then your two open strings, B and E. And those are gonna be open the entire time. All right? And if you realize what those notes are, you have F, C, G, C, B, and E again, right? So it's definitely, you have this sus kind of vibe going on, right? The G is replacing the A, and then you have this open B and E, right? So in relation to that low note, if you play those notes or isolate them, you get a very tense interval or a 10 sound, right? It's kind of a sharp four or sharp 11 kind of vibe, a Lydian sound that's coming out here. And then you also have the E against it, which is a really nice uh, major seven kind of interval. And when you pick out these chords, you kind of really bring out those sounds in the chord. And then we're gonna move that up to the fifth position, five, five, seven, seven. And then the B and open again. And these notes, again, it's the same sus kind of vibe going on, except now it's a G, so it's G, D, A, D again, B, and E. So now, right, we're playing G and B, and that's, that's a major third. So this has got to have that kind of major vibe to it. Okay? So picking these chords apart now, again, Songwriting wise, we can start out by picking them out straight up and down. And then Transitioning to a more, I don't want to say aggressive strum, because I'm not strumming aggressively, but just strumming them loud and full, I'm going to create another song part, right? The song is now moving forward, right? So we can pick out to keep our dynamics low and soft. It leaves room for melody, vocals, anything you want. And then to just kind of take the song forward, we can just repeat the same idea, but strumming it kind of opens it up in a whole new way, right? Getting two, two song parts for the price of 
one, all right? I hope everybody finds that tip useful. I hope you guys like these chords, right? Down in the description below, you can find a link for the tabs. And as always, let me know what you come up with. So until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.